Good evening to you. Thank you for joining us. Welcome to Sports Tonight. It's uh, a very beautiful uh, Tuesday and we are happy uh, to inform you that uh, we will do what we always do, not minding whether it's a public holiday or not. But we'd like to start by saying Happy Eid al to our uh, Muslim friends and of course uh, tell you that um, we hope that the lessons of this season will really impact on not just your lives, uh, but on Nigeria as a nation. So welcome to this Tuesday night edition of the show. Promises to be fun-filled, exciting, as always. Before I introduce to you my partners on the program this uh, Tuesday, let me just quickly give you an idea of what we will be uh, doing on the show um, tonight. In the next couple of minutes, we will, of course, um, look at the African Nations Championship. Remember that the Super Eagles of Nigeria did not have a bright start. Tomorrow, the Eagles will be back on the pitch. They will be up against the Mambas of Mozambique. And uh, we are hoping that it will be a better performance and it will be victory for Nigeria in that game. We'll talk about it um, as we go on. And, of course, um, talk about the games currently going on, a game that has just been concluded uh, today at the African Nations Championship, Chan 2014. We will also spend some time to look at uh, the first Grand Slam uh, for the year. That's tennis. That's um, um, Australia Open. Um, still early days, but the top seats are really pulling their weight. We'll talk about it and, of course, give you some highlights of some of uh, the games that have already been played. We will also, for the major part of sports tonight, this Tuesday, take a look at the state of football on the domestic scene. We're talking um, the top flight league in Nigeria, the Glow Premier League. Yesterday, about this time, the league management company, and the club owners were in a meeting in Abuja. Um, the meeting ended well, and there is hope that the next season will be a lot better than what we had before. At least now we have an idea of when the new season will start. So we'll spend a lot of time to look at that. We will uh, look at um, the issues discussed one after the other and um, try to see if it will help us to have a better league season than we've had in the past. Of course, reactions will also come to what happened yesterday. The most glamorous football event uh, awards in the world surely must be the FIFA awards, and we will take time to reflect on Ronaldo winning for the men and Nadine Angara winning uh, for the women. We'll reflect on all of that as we go along on Sports Tonight this Tuesday. But let me start the show this way, tell you that we want to make this as interactive as possible. We want you to be a part of what we're doing. And um, that is why we want you to take advantage of our platforms and um, talk to us via Facebook. You can see it scrolling on, uh, I can see it on your screen, um, on Facebook, and of course on Twitter. Our handles are there. Tweet us at those handles. As we go along, we will want to take your reactions. We will want to take your opinion. And uh, we will want to hear what you have to say about some of the issues. And this year, one of the things we've decided to do is that we want to make our show as interactive as possible. We want to get you as involved as we can in all that we're doing um, on sports tonight. And tonight, um, maybe towards the end of the show, we will bring something refreshing um, your way. It's a reaction. Yesterday, we talked about artificial pitches and grass pitches. Chicho Gondegbami, Nigerian football legend, talked about uh, our football pitches and condemned artificial pitches. But there's a reply to that uh, from the United States of America. We will try to run that uh, later on on the show, maybe towards the end of the show. And that's something I want to make more regular. Your right to also say a few things and react to issues that um, are, of course, raised on sports tonight. Let me introduce now um, my partners on the program. Dun Madio Konta makes a return after a long while um, under the weather. But it's good to see Nadio refreshed and looking strong ready to fire on Nadi. Um, thank God for quick recovery. And uh, welcome back to Sports Tonight. It is now I believe that any, <laughs> I believe the statement, uh, the word I said, I don't know who ever said so, um, when health is lost, something is lost. Surely. Ah! 
Surely, I But that's what I came on the bed and uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. one mind, uh, well, one mind on TV and the other one on my head. Oh, no, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, I, but, I think it's a loss mm. of constitution. But I just stand mm. back. I'm stronger. I'm yeah. better. That's that's a good one. Uh, I'm, I'm I'm sure you'll stay strong for the rest of the year as well. <laughs> well, yeah, that's, that's our prayer. Yes, yeah, that's our prayer. Yeah, I mean, good to have you as well on sports. Now, yesterday you were working <laughs> behind the scene. I'm not sure you were concentrating uh, because um, as now we're, we're playing. But at the end of the day, it was two one to the Gunners. Um, Navi end to the game that you controlled for about seventy five minutes. But it, it's looking <laughs> like this season. You know, yeah, yeah. The most competitive EPL season we'll have in recent times. Yeah, yeah, but I respond to the first one. I was concentrating. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was behind the scene. I'm, uh, uh, you were so confident uh, that Arsenal was going to win. Yeah. Uh, Two uh, goals in, in, so, in minutes. So, so confident, I didn't, I didn't even monitor. Uh, you know, I, I only got to hear the results. I didn't watch. I only got to hear, hear the results after the uh, game was played. But yesterday, what dominated everyone's thoughts was the FIFA Ballon d'Or. Mm, mm. And, you know, uh, my predictions uh, came right. I knew Lionel Messi wasn't going to win, mm. and Ronaldo. I, I think he deserves it, and that was just what was on everybody's mind yesterday. Bigger than your, your allegiance to uh, any any football club, and that's enough to make you concentrate. Mm. All right, so that's it. And um, uh, let, let's talk about the, the English game very quickly now. Arsenal yesterday, uh, two one winner at the Villa Park. Um, this season is really shaping up well. It's looking like. A race that will go right down to the final day. Yeah, uh, like, like the, the leadership at the top changes with each game. Day. With each game. One, yeah. On Saturday, we had, we, had a, we had a league. On Saturday, there's a league leader. On, on Sunday, Sunday there's another one. On Monday, Monday there's another one. one. And it's going to continue like that. Uh, you, you, you can't afford to take your legs off the pedal. And that's what is happening in the EPL. We've always said about the English Premier League, and it's good, most, most competitive uh, league. But at the end of the day, as much as competitive as they have, you, you could always count like four or five teams that could always end up uh, in, in the top five. I don't think this year is going to be different. Um, I, I, I don't think. There's going to be a winner outside uh, Arsenal, Manchester City, uh, Man United. I still feel they'll get they'll get back to the summit. Chelsea uh, and maybe maybe just Liverpool. Uh, whether or not it's going to be Arsenal season is too early. I think mm. February is crunch time for Arsenal. They play, you know, February is when everything usually Champions League games will come. Crashes for Arsenal. Tough games in the Champions league. league. You have crucial games in February, and one thing about crucial games: once you lose one. And you don't recover. You lose your stride the, before, you, before you get into the mood again. And the most important games you've lost, it takes takes your mind back to 2011, January ending. They were in four competitions, Carling Cup loss. That's how it started, and everything just vanished. That's that, that's that's not nice boogie month, really. Yes, February. February. Yeah. They can crash out in four tournaments in a week. So if at the end of February they're, they're still, still in at least two. Then yes, you you would say mm. they can win a trophy this season. Mm. All right, but before we go to the other things that we've listed, um, Dumnodi, um, this is the season. The transfer window is open. Players are moving. Nigerian players, Kenneth Romero has gone to Middlesbrough. We hope he plays a lot of games that will help him stay in shape and be ready to give us um, his hundred percent um, at, at the World Cup. But there's a player that I think we need to talk about. About this time yesterday, he was scoring goals. He scored two goals for his club Villarreal in the Spanish La Liga. He's now on 11 goals, the best ever by a Nigerian ever since we had Finidi George playing in the Spanish La Liga. Uche looks like he's really pushing for a place in Nigeria's World Cup squad. I'm really, I'm really, I'm really, I'm really pleased with the way it, 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 this football career turned after I'm missing out. Of the was he called anymore? Was he called anymore? And of course, he went back to Villarreal. He showed. I, I, I think I, I watched one interview when he, at Villarreal. He showed. He showed some levels of um, understanding of what football is all about. Maturity. Mm -hmm. Maturity. You just have to focus on what the other part of your football career, mm -hmm. which is your mm -hmm. club career, which is even very crucial because if you don't concentrate on that, it could determine your because your performance at your club could determine whether you get into the national team or mm -hmm. not. Even mm -hmm. though you don't have to look in, in some games, you may likely have to. Um, Probably be called up in some of that game. That is what football is all about. It showed, it showed that maturity, it showed that understanding of the, the the spirit of sportsmanship. And of course, look at what it has it has turned out for him at the end of the day. At last week, he got an hat trick in one of the games against Rayo Vallecano. Of course, he's he plays again. So I, I think it's one of those um, we are seeing the, the, the shape of our play, the shape of our squad mm. for the World Cup. 
more options for Stephen Kessie, headache for him. Because when you have more players mm. who you can pick from, then you have more headache. Because now you have, you have good, good, headache. good yeah. kind of headache. It's a good kind of headache because for some coaches, they never had this opportunity of getting too many players mm. playing uh, football at the top level, to, um, getting their, getting to their best, at, getting at their best at their club. So I think I think it's, an, it's, a, it's we are looking at which coming back into the national team. But what with the other players be doing? How many players are we taking? Because we have a lot of players mm. in that role. Mm. Some of them, Kessie is still looking at some of them, but Kenichi is still part of the mm. old guard. Mm. It must be called back because it was part of the... Uh, it's really the, pushing for a person yeah, to call back. Uh, yeah, our 20 squad. Maybe probably... Because our top scorer before the half come. Yeah, but yeah. our top scorer scored a lot of crucial goals for us. But the NFL have told Steven Kessie, at the end of Chan, or even before the end of Chan, i um, hoping that uh, we are able to turn this around. We'll talk about the chance later on uh, on sports tonight. A 40-man list is demanded yeah. by the Nigerian Football Federation, not just because they want to put cash under pressure, but because we need the to know going. soccer governing body says we must have your provisional squad of players. Out of that 40, we will come back to the final yeah, 23, yeah, yeah. but no other person. Outside the, <laughs> outside the 40. So that's crucial. Yes, because yes. once you are able to make 